before music this um, week, and it's still before Halloween, and so we're going to do a Halloween activity today. And it is an assignment that I'm going to spend time on this video explaining to you what it is and how to do it. And um, it's going to take two weeks, and so you're going to notice that this will not be due until Monday, November 2nd. So there, you probably won't have anything next week for a, a lesson, and you probably won't have a, definitely won't have a new assignment. I just want to give you this one, and because it's um, a little bit longer than our normal assignments, it'll take two weeks for you to do. And what I want you to do is this is going to be a compare and contrast of two Halloween songs. Actually, there's a third song in there also. I just want you to check on also. Um, but what it is is Spooky Scary Skeletons, which is one of the songs that um, we've been, I think you did your sevens routine with that last week. That was your assignment for last week. Um, it's just to, to have some fun with that. Spooky Scary Skeletons, there's a video that went along with that. There's also another song that's written by composer Paul Dukas. It was written a couple hundred years ago. And that one is called Dance Macabre. And um, they have the same storyline. I, I think when you watch it um, on the Google Doc that I'm going to be sending you, you're going to, uh, is the link to both Dance Macabre and then um, Spooky Scary Skeletons. And um, it's a compare and contrast. What things do they have in common? What things do they have that is different? Um, there are, there's a question about, um, there's a question about when were these composed? And it'll be interesting to find out the difference in time that they were composed. You might have to go online and Google that and find that out yourself. It's not on the assignment. You have to fi answer, go find that answer. When was Dance Macabre composed? And when was um, Spooky Scary Skeletons composed? What they have in common, the things that are different about them, are they in a major or minor key? How do you know um, what your preference is? And at the bottom, I also have um, a third a third link for you to do to connect to and open up in the, on YouTube, and that is for Teddy Bear Picnic, and that is a completely different. It's similar to those two, um, to the storyline of those first two um, examples, but. But it's a little bit different, a little different time of day, things like that, and a little different twist. So there are actually three songs, the three links that you're going to be listening to and watching online. And um, you're going to be answering some questions about those. And so I want to play the first one for you. And um, I'm also sending a link to this. This is an old, one of our old textbooks. It's, um, this would be some pages from our textbooks. But it's kind of a, follow, a listening follow along. And so each... Uh, picture is is like this is um, this is labeled number two. This is labeled number one. I want to show it to you. I'm going to um, try and flip it and keep up with it. There's quite a few pages. Uh, this is on a PDF also. This is just part of the assignment for you. You can watch it if you want to. Um, but the link that I really want you to watch is on the Google Doc. And so I'm going to play it for you. And there's a theme that comes back back and forth, and it starts in a cemetery. And this is a little creepy, spooky, but you're in eighth grade and um, you'll be at the high school next year. There's lots of creepy, spooky things that they discuss at the high school next year. I think this is a really, really interesting song and what they chose to do with it. And, and um, it, they, there's a legend, um, probably a fiction legend, that, um, that this song was made out of. And so the person, Paul Dukas, who, who, who wrote and composed um, Dance Macabre, heard the story first, and then he turned around and made some music out of it. And this artist um, painted each scene, and I'm going to try and keep up with it. And there's a little corner, if you can see in the corner, trying to follow along, uh, like right here, that there are instruments up in the corners. So you can tell like there's a harp. When you hear a harp and um, violins and viola playing, that's a clue. When you hear just a violin by itself, like up here in the corner here, that's a clue where we are. It tells you what's going on. And it's kind of narrate, or it's kind of illustrating the um, kind of illustrating the story um, while while they're playing. And so I'm going to try and keep up with it. I'm going to play the instrument. I'm going to play the music, but I'm going to try and just hold up these photos and flip the pages because it's kind of tricky. Um, you don't need to print this off. Certainly don't. It's a, it's a lot of paper and it's color and. This is not needed for your assignment if you want, when you're listening to Dance Macabre, if you want to just follow along with it on your computer and just scroll down um, on the PDF, but do not print this out because it would, it's not worth it for your mom and dad. It's, it's color, it's not, um, 
it's not that important to the sign the assignment, but I just want you to watch this. And while you're watching it, I want you to kind of compare how what does this have to do with the spooky scary skeletons um, video. And when we get to the spooky scary skeletons, that you open up the link and you listen to it on your Google Doc. Um, start from the very beginning because when we did our little sevens thing, um, I started in the middle of the of the video. I want you to start from the beginning of the video and watch to the end because then you'll be able to compare and see what's similar with these um, with these two pieces of music. So let me get this going here. My phone just kind of locked me out. Okay, it's about seven minutes, so I'm going to try and keep up with the photos, the illustrations.
think it'll be easier for you to follow the video. And so um, that was kind of confusing and I, I was hard to hold up and it's, you're probably getting dizzy. So um, that's Dance Macabre. It's not spooky, scary skeletons, but they have a similar storyline. So I want you this week and to next week to take a look at that, listen to the two, um, the version of Dance Macabre that's on the assignment, the version of Spooky Scary Skeleton, and then the teddy bear picnic at the bottom and answer questions to go with that. So that's all we're gonna do for this week and for next week. And um, I think that's about it. So have a good week, have a good Halloween, and we'll connect after that. Thanks, bye.